Mike Corliss with Tormach. Today we're going to mount the Tormach tombstone up to the 8 inch tilting fourth axis. The tombstone will also bolt up to the standard 8 inch fourth axis, okay? So in your box with the tombstone, you're going to have the tombstone and you also have a locating ring with a, a spacer sleeve, okay? Spacer sleeve goes around the locating ring which goes right on the end of your tombstone, okay? Make sure everything's clean. You want to have the uh, fourth axis already indicated in, okay? Run your indicator around here, up and down, make sure it's uh, the fourth axis all trammed in before you um, mount the uh, tombstone. That way if you gotta adjust it, you're already pretty close with the, just having the fourth axis dialed in, okay? Bolt and a T nut. So we got the tombstone bolted up to the fourth axis. We just snug the bolts down. I don't want to over tighten them quite yet because I want to check, indicate the flange of the tombstone. And if that's running pretty good, um, then we'll uh, final indicate the center and the end of the tombstone because that's really what we want to run true with the fourth axis is the center because then we can slide a tailstock in for support and everything else will machine after um, we have that, that indicated in. So I've indicated the flange here, and the indicator is going plus or minus about two thou. So we got uh, about four thou TIR on the, the flange. So now I'll check the center. I'm not going to really mess around with the flange too much as long as it's that close, because really what I need to run true is this center. And then everything else you're going to machine after you have it, uh, the tailstock in there anyway. So then when you go to relocate your tombstone, you're going to pick up what you've already machined onto the tombstone. Now we're going to check the runout on the uh, center, okay? We throw a mag base and an indicator in there, and then we'll um, fine tune our center adjustment um, to make sure that the center is running true of the fourth axis. I like to take an aluminum block and hit right up here on the flange because you'll get more of a sliding effect to get it shocked more to center than if you just take a rubber mallet and just kind of beat out here on the end. You end up trying to trying to deflect it and to get it to slide. Or if you take an aluminum block and you hit it right up here on the flange, it'll, it'll move a lot quicker for you. Okay, looks like we got about four thou. Find the high spot. About there. To get it kind of close, you want to snug your bolts up a little bit more so nothing slides too freely on you.
Okay, now we get the center dialed in. It's, it's running about a thou, and we're going to call that good enough. Okay. Um, so now what we'll do is we'll slide our tailstock into the end, and then we'll watch to make sure our uh, tombstone doesn't move when we slide the tailstock in. Okay, so we know that the uh, tailstock is just there for support, and it's not manipulating our uh, tombstone at all. Just bring the indicator down on the tombstone. And then we'll tighten it's the center up and then we'll watch and see if the uh, tombstone moves. And if it does, then we got to adjust our tail stack a little bit. It, it rose the tombstone up about a half thou. So we got to bump our tail stack down a little bit. Now I've got the tail stack indicated in, so when I loosen or tighten the tail stack, it's not manipulating the tombstone. It's not torquing it up or down. Okay. And you'd also want to check it and do the same same thing on the side. Make sure it's not tweaking it in or out. Okay. It's the same thing. Instead of having your indicator on the top, and you can do these at the same time. If you got two indicators, just bring a mag base over, and then. Put your indicator on the side and bring the uh, tail stock in till it's tight and make sure it's not tweaking your tombstone around. After you have it set up, so your tail stock's tight, you got support on here, now you're ready to start machining on your tombstone. Okay. Now you can use your tombstone for whatever you want. You can um, make it dedicated. Uh, if you've got a certain part that you want to nest on here with uh, fixture holes or whatever, or you can um, do just fixture holes and mount, mount uh, vices or kind of make it a, a universal thing, okay? whatever you want to do. After you've got it dialed in, go ahead and machine it up. Um, then the next time you go to use it, you're just going to pick up off of what you've already machined. Okay? That's it. That's how you use the tombstone, how do you set it up.